I am currently back at the airport and I have one more location to go on this trip and that is Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, I would love to be on my way and, and competing at the games but unfortunately this year I will be on the other side but hopefully not next year. Uh, yeah, so that's my final location. I just uh, I spent a few days here in in San Diego or Oceanside, uh, and then came to San Diego yesterday, and just to see my mom's sister a little bit. It's like I grew up, or my first four years, I lived in America, and I lived with my mom's sister. So it's like my second home. I've, like how I grew up was that we visited very regularly and then when I competed for the first time at the CrossFit Games it's only a two hour drive from them to, uh, to Carson. As you can see, uh, so I trained here 2019. My mom's sister has lived here since she was 18 and she is 70 something now, 72. So uh, I almost, like this is my second home. So when I came here 2019, training for a Rogue Invitational, uh, I bought some stuff for the gym. A rower, a bike, and a sandbag dumbbell, parallet. And, uh, and then I came back now and they made this sign. The Maya and Mike's garage gym, that's what I used to call it. <laughs> Sarah's hideaway. <laughs> so, my new favorite gym. Yeah, so I went to Oceanside and and uh, because I was here, I, I decided that I would check out the Alice KD store that they just opened in San Diego, and that was so cool. Seeing all the stuff in person and just like the vibe in there, and yeah, so it was cool checking that out. And yeah, then I trained at Invictus, and I've trained there a few times before, and people are always so friendly and, and welcoming when I arrive there. So the highlight of this trip is that I had to buy a new bag, surprise, but I found a bag that has a charger. No way! <laughs> so my phone is always dead, or my phone or my airpods always dead, so I cannot charge through my bag. This is insane. Until the seatbelt sign is off, please. 